Good evening, class. Our subject today is going to be the perioperative client. We've spent a lot of time talking about the medical surgical client, but today we're going to concentrate on just the surgical client. When we think about the nursing practice of the surgical client, we need to think about the practice standards that the surgical nurse must follow. Those standards are printed in the AORN Perioperative Standard and Recommended Practice Edition. The topics that are listed at, for primary focus at this time is a septic practice, equipment and product safety, patient and worker safety, patient care, sterilization, and disinfection. The care of the surgical client begins with the admission to the hospital or the same day nursing uh, area or same day surgical unit. Data is collected and transferred to the operative team. It's the nurse who manages a patient's care and monitors the vital signs throughout the voyage to the OR. OR nurses follow strict guidelines of the AOR end and are concerned about the prevention of complication such as deep vein thrombosis and hypothermia. Maintaining sterility throughout the procedure is of paramount importance to ensure a low incidence of infections. Now let's look at the surgical nurses' roles and responsibilities. Surgical nurses who work in hospitals or outpatient surgical centers where they specialize in providing the perioperative care, which includes assisting the patient throughout the period, uh, during and after, and let's not forget before, because it is the nurse who does the preoperative workup. Although they provide medical care, surgical nurses must also take on an important task of serving as a patient's advocate throughout the surgical procedure. The duties of the surgical nurses are varied. In the time leading up to surgery, the nurse cares for the patient by administering medications preoperatively, monitoring vital signs, and of course reporting any changes, performing any necessary preoperative procedures that falls within their scope of practice, such as shaving or prepping. The nurse also will start the intravenous line for quick introduction of medications as necessary, and will also be the one that's responsible for educating the patient. She will give support to the patient and the family. We have already learned that that is one unit. During surgery, scrub nurses prepare and hand sterilize instruments and equipment to the operating surgeon. First assistants, in contrast, perform surgical procedures such as suturing, uh, using various methods to control bleeding and removing or handling tissues. The circulating nurse provides care in both the pre and post-operative phases. During recovery, they are responsible for monitoring the patient's condition and providing instructions for aftercare. This is taken up post-operatively by the floor post-surgical nurse. She will do post-operative teaching. She will do the assessment of the patient or client when they return from the recovery room and assess the uh, incision. Uh, we all know that we assess it for uh, bleeding. We do not remove the dressing. Uh, we utilize an inst uh, a writing instrument to mark any kind of bleeding that has bled through on the dressing and report it accordingly. Now the surgical nurse has many competencies that she must 
prove that she holds. The knowledge and ability to provide all of the surgical nursing services that we just discussed, the knowledge of a variety of surgical procedures so that she knows what to expect from the uh, surgeon and in the patient's condition. All of these procedures and all of these competencies will be directly related to policies of the institution in which she is employed and of course which the patient is uh, is at. We need to know that she can perform and reinforce pre and post-operative teaching, move the patient and using the SBAR give uh, entailed report of the patient's conditions and what has happened thus far. The OR nurse uh, knows how to manage uh, drains uh, uh, if the patient in fact has one, insert and remove urinary catheters, insert and care for and then remove nasogastric tubes and many other devices used in the surgical world. She must know how to do wound irrigations, how to pack a wound with sterile dressing, and of course sterile procedure must be followed, and removal of the packing as per agency policy. She must have a good knowledge base of sterility and surgical incisions and wounds and the care of them. Surgical nurses are expected to know how to remove sutures, staples, and reinforce the dressings. All the while being the patient's advocate all the while monitoring them for complications of surgery and their pain status. The OR nurse or the perioperative nurse must stay abreast of new information. They must critically review current literature for recommendations of practice for the surgical client. Technology brings new advances almost hourly in our field. The OR nurse must stay abreast of all new advances in technology. She follows stringent guidelines of the Joint Commission set forth by the healthcare institution and through the Academy of Medical Surgical Nurses scope of practice. Also, the State Board of Registered Nurses have different scopes of practice for these nurses. The AORN publishes uh, evidence-based practices through briefs and updates when information comes available. And they publish a comprehensive review yearly for the surgical nurse. As we review the importance of the surgical nurse is a life or death situation with the client, as with many nurses. But you are definitely the number one advocate for a surgical client. And without saying so, we know that the client will be anesthetized and unable to verbally tell the nurse anything that they want them to know between the time that they are inducted and the time that they're normally re, uh, leaving the uh, recovery area. We will continue with this topic 
and move on to the recovery period of the surgical client. Thank you.